Hey, we're in my son's nursery, so I wanted to show you something really cool that I've wanted to show you for a long time and I just haven't got around to it, and then I thought I'd give you a quick updated room tour. My son loves anything that goes. <laughs> Cars, trucks, trains, he's obsessed with them. So I really wanted to get him a train table for Christmas, but the truth was I didn't know where I would put it. So instead I got this really inexpensive wooden set from Toys R Us and hot glued it onto a piece of wood. This is actually a top of an old coffee table that I had, but you can get Home Depot or a home hardware store to cut a, a piece of wood any size for you. I was going to put it on casters on wheels, but I decided not to because it does pull so easily. It's really not a concern. So I pull it out so he can play with it. I hot glued it all down and it's held up really, really, really good. It doesn't ever break apart. And when he's done using it, you just easily slide it under the crib. No more mess. No more fuss, no worrying about stuff being everywhere or having a spot for a giant tra train table. Wanted to quickly give you a room update as well if you haven't seen it. This is Milo's nursery. Kind of in love with this room. I found all his bedding off Kijiji and it had a lot of alphabets on it, so I carried that theme with this awesome alphabet wall, which I got off of Etsy. And then I just used Dollar Store craft paint to paint each letter a different color to sort of coordinate with the room. I really wanted to go when we found out we were having a boy with like an old vintage wood toy theme. So we found some great things like this, this old wooden um, plane that I painted and these great wooden blocks that I found, these vintage wooden blocks. And I used it just by hot gluing on this tray to make a cool little um, art piece which just has, you know, his date of birth and how much he weighed and his name and all that great stuff on there. And we carried the theme a little bit more by just using the leftover wooden blocks to drill, we drilled holes in them and screwed them onto his dresser that we use as a change table. But that way, um, they're really cool pills, uh, pulls and it ties in with the theme. So last but not least is his closet. I'm loving his closet again. All the bins are from the dollar store. But it's really, really effective to have an open bin system so I can just toss things in. If he, you know, spills his bottle in the middle of the night, I can just reach in and grab sheets. I know where everything is and I can grab it in a moment's notice. So that's Milo's vintage to wooden toy room. You'll see I've got some wooden toys all throughout, just things that we've found at um, Goodwill and stuff like that. So it's a really inexpensive budget room and I love it. So if you have a little boy and you're looking for a spot to put the train table, consider tucking it under your bed or your crib by hot gluing it to a piece of wood. That's your tip and we'll see you next time.